okay, class, shh, everyone be quiet. Class, no, shh, shh, shh. Keep it down. Keep it down. You see, the, the rest of your classmates, they're off doing something else right now. Many of them are asleep. So, shh, get your notebook, get your pencil, get your Bible. We're going to do tomorrow's pop quiz tonight. Yeah, that's right. And if you do the pop quiz tonight, you get like 50 extra points. And for your classmates who will not do this pop quiz or even hear it until tomorrow, they don't get the 50 points that they miss out. They're going to lose 50 points all because, well, they're not paying attention. Remember, it's a Bible pop quiz, meaning it could pop up at any time. Well, I know we're supposed to be doing the pop quiz tomorrow, September the 29th, but we're actually going to do it this evening, Thursday, September the 28th, 2023 at 924 p.m. Central Time. You know what that tells you? Pop quiz could happen at any time. And if you're paying attention and you do the pop quiz when we do it live and not wait until it's available on demand, you get 50 points. You got this. You got this. So do you have your notebook? Do you have your pencil? Do you have your Bible? Are you ready? Are you ready to do a little late night Bible pop quiz? I hope you are. Hopefully this will be beneficial. Hopefully it will be fun. I mean, we do want to have fun, but we also want to learn the word of God. As much fun as we want to have with this, it's obviously very serious, right? It's the word of God. It is inspired. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all, every good work. This is the, the word of God that you're supposed to desire as a, as a newborn babe desires milk. It's your food. It's your treasure. It's what you should desire. It's what you should be meditating on day and night. So it's it's serious because when we do these pop quizzes, the goal is to try to get you to open up an actual Bible, look for the answer, and then through repetition, hopefully we're getting this to, to be something in you that you will retain. So I hope you've enjoyed the Bible pop quizzes so far, but let's say, hey, let's not, let's not talk about everything. Let's just get started because, hey, one of your classmates could all of a sudden realize, wait a minute. I think a pop quiz is going on and they could get dressed and run down here really fast and run into the classroom and then they could get the 50 points. You don't want them to get the 50 points. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if I should create a system where (laughs) we're trying to compete with one another and we want our classmates to lose out on 50 points for a Bible pop quiz. Okay, probably not, (laughs) probably not the correct way to build this. All right, but, but you shh. Don't let anyone know, okay? It's Bible pop quiz time, all right? Are you ready? It's Bible pop quiz time, okay? We, we don't want anyone else to know, all right? Here we go. Are you ready? So before we do the Bible pop quiz for September the 29th, let's go back to September the 27th, 2023 for the Bible pop quiz. Now, remember, I'm doing these reviews I, 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 I keep modifying how we do these reviews. If it's a, re- if, if we do a Bible pop quiz where it's open ended questions, we're not really going to do those reviews because those are things I'm telling you, look up in a dictionary, do some research and summarize. We're not going to really review those too much unless I'm getting lots of emails going, please review the open ended questions. But most of those you can work on your own. Some of the others we will review. Sometimes I may not review every question. Sometimes I may only review a few. I, sometimes I may go faster. I'm still trying to figure out the perfect formula with how to handle the previous Bible pop quiz. There's a part of me that wants to just maybe not even mention it. Just go right into the next one. Go right into the next one and not doing the review. But what is keeping me from doing that is the reviewing is what's doing the repetition. So then hopefully that leads to the retention, right? You got to do repetition so that it can be retained. So that's one of the reasons. So, but on September the 27th, 2023, we took our notebooks, our pencils, and our Bibles, and we did a Bible pop quiz that was all dedicated to John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Do you remember that? Do you? Do you remember the first question? I, I, I almost, I, I don't want to read the first question, but because I, I, I want, hopefully everyone remembers the first question, right? Does everyone remember the first question for John chapter, or for, for John chapter one, for the Bible pop quiz on John chapter one? 
Do I need to read it? Okay, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the question this way. You ready? You ready for me to read the question? I'm going to read the question this way. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Let me, let me read it a little differently. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Now, there's nothing wrong <laughs> with your phone. I'm pausing there. I'm stopping there because I'm trying to have you fill in the words, right? Because are you remembering the first question for the pop quiz on, on September the 27th? In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. John chapter one, verses one through two, because the first question that the first thing I gave you to do on September the 27th for that pop quiz was this Write out John chapter one, verses one through two from memory. I wanted you to write it and then look and go, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I didn't get that right. All right. Then, then review it, write it again until you had it perfect. Because I cannot express to you the importance of John chapter one, verses one through two, because it really, if you get that down, really understand it, really hold on to it. That protects you from so many cults, so many false doctrines, so many heresies. John chapter one, verses one through two absolutely an essential scripture. You have to have it. You have to know it. You have to have it uh, memorized. You really should. John chapter one, verses one through two. Then number two, do you remember number two? Number two, what is the Greek word and its meaning that is translated dwelt in John chapter one, verse 14? Remember John chapter one, verse 14 reads, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Let me read that to you one more time. John chapter 1, verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. I'm not going to t remind you, I'm not going to even tell you what the Greek word is and what it means, because you really, 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 really need to look it up especially if you're going to be participating in our Bible study exercise on the tabernacle. Uh, oh, did I just give it away? All right, look at that up. John chapter one, verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory and the glory uh, and the glory is of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. Look up the Greek word that is translated dwelt, write down the Greek word and its meaning. All right, that was number two in your pop quiz for September the 27th. You want to, do you remember question number three? Do you remember question number three? Do you? Do you may read it to you? Here we go, number three. The word that was made flesh is full of, and you got to fill in the blank, blank and blank. John chapter one, verse 14. And the word that was made flesh is full of blank and blank. Let me read that to you one uh, more time. And the word was made flesh, uh, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. I gave you the answer for that one. See that? See how nice I am? All right. So, number one, write out John chapter one, verses one through two from, from memory. Again, we're reviewing the Bible pop quiz for September the 27th. Write out uh, John chapter one, verses one through two from memory. Number two, what is the Greek word and its meaning that is translated dwelt in John chapter one, verse 14? Number three, this was fill in the blank. The word that was made flesh is full of blank and blank. John chapter one, verse 14. Number four was in him was blank. In him was blank. Another fill in the blank. In him was blank. That was John chapter one, verse four, which reads, in him was life and the life was the light of men. In him was life. 
That's John chapter 1, verse 4. And if you remember, we did a devotional message. It may not have been very good, but we did a devotional message on chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. And so this is just to build on that, to help you to, again, repetition leads to retention, right? Number five, this is very important. Number five, born not of what three things? Born not of what three things? John chapter 1, verse 13. Born not of what three things? John chapter 1, verse 13. Do you know what those three things are? Which were born not, number one, of the blood, number two, nor of the will of the flesh, number three, nor of the will of man. Number, uh, that was, that's number five. Okay. So number one was right out John chapter one, verses one through two. Number two was what is the Greek word and its meaning that is tr- uh, translated dwelt in John chapter one, verse 14. Number three was the word that was made flesh is full of blank and blank. John chapter one, verse 14. Number four was in him was blank. John one, four. And then number five was born not of what three things. John chapter one, verse 13. Born not of what three things? John chapter 1, verse 13. Let me read it to you again. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And that leads you right to number six. And remember the question number six, because remember I said it wrong the first time. So number five reads, born not of what three things? And then I said for number six, remember I said, born of fill in the blank, born of blank. But that's not really how the text reads. It actually reads, but of blank, John 1, 13. So let me read it all to you again. I think you can fill it in. Which were born not of three things, not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of of God. So number six actually should read, but of, and then fill in the blank, God. John chapter one, verse 13. That was your Bible pop quiz for September the 27th, 2023. But for tomorrow, for tomorrow, I know it's not tomorrow yet, right? It's still Thursday, but your pop quiz for Friday, September the 29th. And if you're doing it early and if you finish it before midnight, You get 50 points. Now, if you wait till tomorrow to do it, you have to turn it in before, right? This this is like a special offer, right? One time. If it's 12.01, you lose the 50 points, right? So you better start working on it right now. Here we go. Question number one. Now, just so that you know, the Bible pop quiz for September the 25th, 2023 is all from Exodus chapter 25, Exodus chapter 25, every single question is taken from Exodus chapter 25, and if you're following along, you know why, because we've introduced a series on the Tabernacle, the Bible Study Exercise Podcast. We are doing an entire study on the Tabernacle that's going to take us at least all of 2020, the rest of 2023, and going into 2024, all right? So are you ready? Here we go. Here are your questions. I have five questions for you. Five questions. Number one, and let them make me a fill in the blank. Let them make me a blank that I may blank among them. Question number one for the Bible pop quiz for September the 29th, 2023 is this, and let them make me a fill in the blank, blank that I may blank among them. This is in Exodus chapter 25. And let them make me a blank that I may blank among them. Exodus chapter 25. You have to find, remember, you have to find the verse, write down the reference, and then you fill in the blanks. There's two blanks there. And let them make, or two missing words, if you want to do it that way. And let them make me a blank, missing word number one, that I may blank, missing word number two, among them. Exodus chapter 25. All right, you have that down. 
Question number two for the Bible Pop Quiz for September the 29th, 2023. I just looked in my notebook. <laughs> you know what I wrote down? Bible study exercise, 929-23. Why did I say Bible study exercise? Because I was thinking Bible study exercise when I started writing the quiz because I was looking at, well, everything about the tabernacle. Okay, but I, all right, I, I digress. Here we go, here we go. Here's question number two. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the blank and the pattern of all the blank thereof, even so shall ye blank, blank. There's a lot of filling in the blanks here. A lot of filling in the blanks for this one. All right. I'm going to read it again slowly. I'm going to read it again slowly. Hang on. I'm going to go look at the text here really quick. I'm going to look at the text here really quick. Give me one second here. I'm looking at the text because I want to verify something here. And uh, let's see here. And uh, where is it? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. Yes, I see. I see where I took this from. I want to make sure I, I had everything correct here. Here we go. Number two. Here's question number two for the Bible Pop Quiz for September the 29th, 2023. According to all that I shew thee, after the pattern of the blank and the pattern of all the blank, all right, thereof, so far so good, even so shall ye blank, blank. This is Exodus chapter 25. Let me read that to you again slowly. Let me read that to you again slowly. This one is... This one's just more of difficulty in writing it out. It's more difficulty in just writing it out. But remember, you're supposed to be writing it out. Why? You're hearing it. You're writing it. You're looking it up. Then you're filling in the blank. And then you're going to hear me read it. And then you're going to... So all of that retention then that rep, or that repetition will lead to that retention. All right. So here we go. Number two. According to all that I shew thee, after the pattern of the fill in the blank, blank, and the pattern of all the blank thereof, even so shall ye blank, blank. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the blank, and the pattern, uh, and the pattern of all the blank thereof, even so shall ye blank, blank. There's, there's a lot there to fill in. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward once you find the verse, but it's all very important stuff, especially it pertains to our study that we're doing for the Bible study exercise. All right. I'm going to read that just one more time. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the blank and the pattern of all the blank thereof, even so shall ye blank, blank. Exodus 25. Number three. Number three. And they shall make an blank of blank, blank. And they shall make an blank of blank, blank. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. That's the rest of the verse to help you find it. I almost didn't want to give you that, but I did write it down in my notebook. But let me give you the, the what you need to fill in. Remember, the, these are missing words. This, this is how we're doing most of these. One of these is an open-ended question, but, but most of these are going to be like fill in the blank. All right, so here we go. Number three. For the Bible Pop Quiz, September the 29th. Here we go. And they shall make an blank of blank, blank. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. Exodus chapter 25. That's a lot of things to find here. And they shall make an blank of blank, blank blank. And then the rest of that is just to help you find the verse. But you should be able to locate that. You should be able to find that without too much difficulty. 
Now, if you'll note in ver- and, and, and number three, after I give you all of those blanks to fill in, I immediately start s- – s- this word is repeated a number of times. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. The word cubit is used there multiple times, three times, I think. Well, so question number four, you should know where this is going. I want you to look up and research what is a cubit? What is a cubit? I I want you to just summarize everything you can find about a cubit. All right. Look in a Bible dictionary. You can look in a couple, look at at least two or three sources and just summarize. A cubit is... And then just summarize what it is. You can write down, of course, the the source from which you found the information so that in your Bible pop quiz notebook, anytime you go back and review the questions and the answers, you'll be like, oh, that's where I found that answer. And you can put down the page number and all of that. Look up and research a cubit. What is a cubit? Because obviously something and they shall make and blank of blank blank. And then immediately we start being told two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, a cubit and a half the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. Well, unless you know what a cubit is, that doesn't really give you much of an idea what's going on there or what it even looks like. But right there, it kind of gives you a clue what a cubit is, right? Some type of unit of measurement, right? That kind of gives you a clue, right? So number one was... Let them make me a blank that I may blank among them. Exodus 25. Number two, according to all that I shew thee after the pattern of the blank and the pattern of all the blank thereof, even so shall ye blank blank. Exodus 25. Number three, and they shall make a blank of blank blank. Two cubits and a half shall be the length and then all the rest of it. That's Exodus 25. Number four, simple, straightforward. Look up and research a cubit and then su- just summarize. Just summarize what you find. You don't have to write a book. Just just summarize. And number five, and thou shall overlay it with blank, blank. And thou shall overlay it with blank, blank. Blank. That's also Exodus chapter 25. That's Exodus 25. I'm going to look at that really quick. Exodus chapter 25. Yeah, okay. I wanted to make sure. Make sure I didn't accidentally add a, a, a missing word there that wasn't actually there. But it's, yeah, it's there. And thou shalt overlay it with blank, blank. That is your Bible pop quiz. For September the 29th, 2023. If you if you finish it and you submit it before midnight, if you do that, <laughs> if you do that, you get 50 points. I know my point system is random. It's probably not even fair or just, but hey, hey, it's the best point system going on in the in the world. Okay, maybe it's not, maybe you're not, but it is. All right. So there you have it the Bible pop quiz for September the 29th, 2023. I hope you will dig in. Hope you will really take it serious. I want you to look, actually look it up in a physical Bible, actually write out the question. You can write then the answer, filling in the blank, write out the whole verse again, filling in the blank. The more you write it, the more you read it, the more you write it, the more you retain, the more you retain, the more you become, you begin to get a step closer and closer to mastering the, the source material, which is the word of God, which is supposedly our actual authority. So dig in. There you have it. An early, an early Bible pop quiz, early in the sense that we're supposed to be doing it tomorrow. So it's early that way, but a late night, just, hey. Your job, have your notifications on, and no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, you have to be able to look at people and go, hey, 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 it's time for the Bible pop quiz. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to stop doing what I'm doing. But you're cooking, you're cooking supper, mommy. Mommy can't cook supper anymore. It's time for a Bible pop quiz. Hey, 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 why are we pulling over to the side of the road? Stopping. I I need to get to the emergency room. Sorry. Time for a Bible pop quiz. Okay. Maybe that's a little bit exaggerated, but you get the idea. So... I got I got to maintain a little bit of that spontaneity, right? Because it's a pop quiz, but we're still to be fair, to be serious, no jo- all joking aside. We're going to sh- we're going to try to shoot for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's what we're going to try to do. 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we'll see if, if it's, it's all feedback. It's what I'm getting. And so right now it's, it's still, we're still new. This is like the ground floor of this. So not lots of interaction yet, but we'll give it time and we'll see. All right. And just, just one last thing at the end. Um, please note that if you will listen to, we have, this is a, a situation where we are monetizing this podcast. It's the first time I've ever done it. It's more of a test. It's a trial just to see what it's like, how it impacts it. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Uh, but if in the meantime, while, while we're doing this test, if you'll download the Spreaker app, that's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, Spreaker, look up the Bible Pop Quiz, follow us. If you will listen, download on the Spreaker app, it like triples the amount of money that comes to us for the monetization. Um, a Spreaker is offering us like a 20% increase in the money we get if people listen on the Spreaker app or download. So you can go listen, you can download all the episodes, whatever, that that helps us uh, greatly. However, the when we upload to Sermon Audio, upload to Sermons 2.0, upload to Church One, all the other platforms, uh, all the, all those, all the platforms that are connected to Sermon Audio, there will be no monetization. We will upload directly from the recording that comes from the, the, uh, the sermon audio platform, and therefore there'll be no ad. It'll be uploaded differently. It will take me a little bit more time. It's a little bit extra work, but that's okay. That's okay, uh, because we want to at least put it on one platform without monetization. And, and I just don't think sermon, the sermon audio website really, that's not the place for commercials. And, uh, and, and I don't even think uh, those commercials would count because it would be a downloaded file from Spreaker. So it would just be the one download that it would count. Would, anytime anybody listened, it wouldn't help. So the commercials would be useless at that point. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that and then we'll wait and see. We may remove the commercials sooner rather than later. But we wanted to see just what would happen, what it feels like, what it looks like. So just if you want to help us out there, that's great. And, of course, you know. I, I think ultimately we're going to probably do away with, I, I just, unless something massively changes, we'll probably do away with the monetization and then just have to see, will people support all of our efforts with everything? Theology Central, Bible Study Exercise, Bible Pop Quit, all the things we do. And if they if they choose to support it, great. And if they don't, hey, you got a million other podcasts to, to listen to. And so we'll see. But we'll make that ultimate decision January 2024 about the future of all of the podcast. We will make that decision then. But in the meantime, we're going to do the best. We're going to make the most of October, November, and December and try to go. If I'm going down, I'm going to go down swinging. All right. So we'll see. But we wanted to at least try it. And so I think this is, I think it's the Bible pop quiz is kind of more suitable suitable for a monetization attempt because on Theology Central podcast, sermons go there as well. So that'd be weird, like hearing a commercial before I say, take your Bibles and turn to Romans. Like I, that would be horrible to have a commercials before a sermon. That, that would be, that would just be wrong. So, uh, so we definitely can't monetize Theology Central. That's just a no. That's just a absolute no. That can't happen there. So, uh, the Bible pop quiz, uh, I mean, it's more educational. I don't know. I don't know. Still not a big fan of it, but just want you to know what's going on and we'll keep you updated as things move forward, right? And you say, well, how much money have you made so far? I have made less than a penny, right? It's like 0.08, I think. I, I can look for, I can look at right now. I can look right now. Hang on. Let me look. I can, I can get up to the minute numbers. Up to the minute numbers. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Uh, ad exchange. Uh, oh, 0 0.09. Woohoo! 0 0.09. That, <laughs> that's what we have. That's what we're, we're raking in the money, ladies and gentlemen. We have not even made a penny. All right. So that's, that's kind of funny. That, that makes me laugh. Right. So we'll just see how that works. But a brand new podcast, it takes forever to get people, you know, there. And, oh, and these episodes won't show up under the Theology Central podcast on any of the podcasting apps or on Spreaker. You're going to have to look for the Bible Pop Quiz podcast uh, to be able to hear these. So, all right. Thanks for listening. Everyone have a great night. Most importantly, set aside all of the other updates about the podcast. 
most importantly, this is most importantly, is that you participate in these Bible pop quizzes so that you're in God's word, you're reading it, you're observing it, you're doing repetition with it so that you will retain it. And then that you, that God will take that word and that you will grow spiritually because of it and you'll be better equipped to be a good Bible student and you'll be protected from those who misuse and twist the scriptures. Thanks for listening. Everyone have a great night and God bless. 